Oldsmobile 98 Regency fuel pump. Doing some okay, adapting to the wire. Yeah, so there I got it on Heard it when it was cranking. I just turn up. I hear Try it. Yep. Ain't got it. It's a work. I'm going to the house. All right. Put up tools. We will. Yeah, go get me a Jeep. I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, Daddy. Just turn the key on. It is on. Turn it off and back on. Try it again. Do it? Yeah. Try it again. Prime it up. All right, hold on. Hold on. Hey, third floor. You don't need starting fluid. It's a fuel injected GM. It needs the fucking bath. And Boys and girls of the internet, we're sitting here in the Oldsmobile Regency where I have finally finished the fuel pump. That's not it. That's Cody over there in the Mustang. We'll wait for him to move. He's over there. Go up the road. The tensioner's bad on the Fox body. I got to put a new tensioner on it. All right. We turn our. Look at that, it's alive. Old Delco radio's trying to work, but the screen's half gone. All right, let's see if I can't get this hood closed real quick and we'll run this jalopy down the road. Oh, I'm so excited. That fuel pump fought us pretty bad yesterday. And then last night I got home and I didn't have enough gas to Fill the tank up, but she's alive and cooking now. Let's get back it out of here. Woo. Boys and girls, it is also time for lunch. I need food bad. I'm hypoglycemic, so I, my sugar gets low and I just get all weak. Let's see. Look at it go. Oh man. It's just floating down the road, buddy. Floating down the road. We're driving on a cloud. 
<laughs> the brakes took a little bit to get cleared up and they're not sticking or dragging or anything more they were pretty rusty though but they're doing good now we don't have any warning lights on not yet anyway i'm sure something will pop up big old hood ornament hanging out up there Yeah, we're motoring now, folks. Look at us. See how far back I can get the camera so you can get you a good angle. We've got all four gears in the transmission, including reverse. This is the optional. I guess it was optional. It's an overdrive automatic, so that makes it a four-speed. Let's throw it up in reverse here. Back up in the driveway and turn around. Oh man, I am ecstatic about this. I'm so glad that it's it's alive. The motor sounds very healthy. The air conditioning, the compressor on it just pretty much shit itself the minute I tried to operate the air. So I think it's just blew a seal or something. It's making all kinds of racket. I'm gonna get another compressor for it and throw it on there. But man, it is smooth. The ashtray's doing a little rattle down there over the gravel, but Besides that, now I think before long we can load it up on the on the trailer and carry it to the car wash, give it a proper bath. But I say it goes right into reverse and everything. So the compressor will still probably come on, but it's making just a horrendous racket. It's trying, but it's it's not gonna work. Probably have to just best thing to do would be to order just a new compressor and convert this thing to R34 if it hasn't been already. It looks like it, it's been converted, but like I said, it's it's not doing well, and the compressor sounds like crap. So we'll just get a new compressor and throw on it and flush the system out and vacuum it, and then fill it full of the good stuff. That's, that's the plan. Look at that. Lights are on. Lights are not on. Lights are on. Let's stay on if I had the door open. Nope, goes off. That is too freaking cool. Oh, I'm tickled. Should we go down the road again? Let's go down the road one more time. We'll go down the road one more time. Why not, right? When in Rome. Can't wait to get, get this thing with the car wash and pressure wash all this crap off of it and give it a proper wash and wax job. Oh man, look at it go. We're motoring. Other than that damn ashtray rattling. You can hear that compressor. I think it's just still leaking out everything that's in the system. But listen to this. 
man. Oh, man. It does not get better than that. Oh, buddy. Is that a woman or a man? All right. I'm going to call this a day. Oh, I can't get out. Here we go. So the, the Moldsmobile runs. And uh, we have named her Dolores. Uh, my sister named it. So Dolores, the Oldsmobile is alive. Pretty tickled. So in the comments in the last video we talked about it, the paint is the worst on the trunk, clearly. There's a stain in the carpet in the back, but everything else is there, all the information and stuff like that. Still there. The air ride on the back pumped up. You can see we've got a nice wheel gap now. I was amazed. Uh, the compressor does seem to be cycling on and off here and there. And I'm not talking about for the air conditioning, I'm talking about for the rear air shocks. So more than likely it's got a leak. Typical. Oh yeah, that compressor is still just making all kinds of racket. Yeah. Yeah, it's done for. Um, and this is the 3800, the little red dot, 3800 V6. I had thought, I read on the paperwork, it said 30. I was wrong. It is a 38. Good news. Um, like I said, man, it, it just runs like a top. So I'm going to do a fluid change. I'm going to do the engine oil, the transmission fluid, and filter. Um, I'm going to do plugs, wires, flush the coolant. And we should be in business. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. We will catch you in the next one. Thanks again. Thanks, everybody, who supported the channel. All the positivity I've gotten from the GM Front Wheel Drive group. And uh, if any of you guys in there are watching this, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Thanks for all the knowledge and insight on the car as well. I'm going to jump off here. Like I said, I've got to go eat lunch before I pass out. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of part two. It will be a part three when we carry this girl to the car wash to get her first bath in four years. You ready? Me too. And probably not going to take that because the air is not fixed in that yet either. So we'll probably take the Mustang. i got to film the Acura CL, the Odyssey with the Prelude swap in it. All kinds of good stuff to come. But anyway, this, this was today's challenge. Today's challenge is alive. I'm rambling food. I'm thinking Pizza Hut. Let's go do that.